tonight I'm going to be making fish tacos. So I'm using tilapia and these are my seasonings that I'll be using. The chicken rub, Mrs. Dash original, garlic and herb, and then I like the Famous Dave's. Um, it's like a rib rub, but I just use it on anything. It doesn't matter. And this too. I just mix it, whatever. So let's get started. So I'm going to take a paper towel and dry the fish so the seasoning can stick to it. Good. And I already got my oil on the stove warming up. And I'm not going to put a lot of seasoning on it because the, um, the fish batter that I'm using, I get low sodium. It already has a little bit of salt in it. That's why I use these salt free seasonings. So I don't want to put a lot of salt on my food. I don't eat it like that anymore. What? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Walk I know you can walk away from it. Like yeah. Okay, I just walked away to get a, a little bag because when I cook fish, I like to put everything I use in a bag so I can take it right out to the garbage. So let's get started. I'm put a little bit of this. Just a little bit. Only thing I don't like about fish is you can't taste it, so you don't know how much seasoning you need to put on it until after it's done. So, just kind of have to guess. And I don't measure, so I don't know how much I'm using. I just kind of eyeball it. this in there and then mix it up really good make sure all the fish gets coated and I like tilapia I never some people use catfish but I never had it with the catfish I'm pretty sure it's good but um it's just the fish that I like to use I should have been more prepared for this but I'm not. So, oh well, we winging it. It's my food, so I can open this bag how I want. <laughs> if I was cooking for other people, I wouldn't do that. I would have used a knife. Because my mom over here looking at me like I'm crazy. Because I just did that. <laughs> she not eating she brought her own food. Who, par who parents do that? Bring their own food to their kid's house. She different. So I'm going to shake it up. A little bit by back. It's just easier to coat it. Normally I put a little flour in here. But um, unfortunately, I'm short and I can't reach it. And my husband is asleep. So, I'm going to go over here and bring y'all with me. And we're going to pull it down a little bit. Let me turn the light on. Let's see. It might splash a little bit. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to look a little dark. Let me know if it's a little dark. I'm going to put the fish in here. And I just have like a little bit of grease in there. Just to lightly saute it. I don't want to make it real, real greasy. Alright, so I'm going to let that cook. And then we're going to go back over here. And finish with the rest of the fish. Put it in the bag. See, it's just slightly seasoned, nothing real heavy, because this batter is already salty, like I said, and you don't want to over, you don't want to just taste salt. It's not good. I might need like a little bit more fish batter. I don't really fry that much, so I don't keep a lot of grease in my house, because I have an air fryer, so I'm trying to eat more healthier, but sometimes, you just want a little fried food. So I'm 
So seal it. I didn't seal it the first time, but you can seal it this time, the last time. Take it and wait. All right, there you go, guys. I'll be back when it's done.